Hi, I'm Taylor Vitani, and thank you for tuning into this episode of The Living Show, Living in Shelby Township. Guess where I am? Back at the Shelby Township Library, and I'm here with Bethany. Bethany, we just watched Bethany spearhead this whole deal with the tweens, and I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about it. But Bethany, first, how are you, first Hi. of all? Great. Good. All energized yeah. after all this. I know. Uh, I can kids, only imagine with all the kids. candy. <laughs> yes, kids and candy. They're sending it back to their parents, right? <laughs> so tell me about what we did tonight or what you guys did tonight for the viewers. We had the tweens making sushi tonight, but it was not your traditional sushi that you would get at a restaurant. Um, some of them have eaten it before. Mm -hmm. Some have not, so I'm not sure if they like fish but they like candy, right, usually. So um, right. we used some Rice Krispie treats and some little candy fish and gummy worms as our pretend fish to roll up with some fruit roll ups. Right, that was so cute. Where did you find that, like how to do that? Yeah, um, you know, our teen volunteer uh, who helps a lot at the library, she has made it for a birthday party before, That's she so said, cool. so floating around in some of those kids' recipe books. That is so cute. It, it looked so tasty, truly. I'm sure the kids would probably prefer that over regular <laughs> sushi. So after that, they did this really cool thing, making this craft. Tell us about that. Yeah, I wanted them to learn about using chopsticks if they hadn't used them before. Uh, we tried to always learn about new things at the library and different cultures and um, experiences that they can read about and, and try hands-on. So we watched a little video on using chopsticks and then we used some cotton balls and felt and glue and tape to make our own toy sushi that we could take home in a little bento box practice. to practice using chopsticks. Did you think any of them got a little better throughout the... Yeah, a couple of them knew how to use them, and uh, a few were like, wait, let's watch the video again. Yeah. And, then they, and then they got it a little more, and they were Practice practicing. Practice makes perfect, you know? They do it enough times, pretty soon. Like, I don't think I know how to use chopsticks properly. You know, it's useful, and I wish somebody as a kid would have showed me. So this is really cool that you did this. I know that you guys do a lot for the teens here at the Shelby Township Library. Um, how can people find out what you're doing next, and how do they go about registering? Um, we always have an events calendar out for the next few months at all of the desks in the library. We have it posted on our web calendar, um, Facebook, Instagram. You'll see some cool pictures of events like these um, that you guys took and we'll post about those so that if you miss something, um, we may do it again the next year, but there's always something new coming up too. And I will tell you, they have some really fun, cool things for all ages here at the Shelby Township Library. I'm always so excited to see what you guys are all doing next. I just love what everybody's doing here, and I love what you do for the kids, for the teens. They love it. I mean, they were so engaged. They, it was just, it was cool to watch. So we are so excited yeah, we got we to be here. Energy. Yes, I know, you feed off of it. Yeah, it's great. And uh, yeah, so I'm sure we might see you for the next one. But um, in the meantime, if you guys wanna register your kids, all you gotta do is go to the website and uh, hit register and you guys can get your kids in here. It'll be super fun. They've got a bunch of stuff coming up. So thank you so much, Bethany. And carry out all orders. Carry out all orders. Directed by my superiors. Directed by my superiors. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs>
so it was it was a good good blend of um, camaraderie and just like I I think there's a lot of good people here and it makes a good team. So I'm excited to get my um, paramedic certification done. So right now I'm in the paramedic program at Macomb. So once I get that done, I'm excited to um, start my probationary year as a firefighter and then um, looking forward to getting that done and then becoming a full-time uh, firefighter here and just um, enjoying my career along the way. Anything else you like to add? Um, nothing I can think of at the moment. Back in May, and even actually before that, we partnered with the Macomb chapter of Pheasants Forever to help restore a 2.2 acre uh, pollinator habitat. And so in May, um, the Pheasants Forever group led a volunteer day. Volunteers came out to sprinkle native wildflowers here and grasses to help start that restoration process. Prior to this project starting, um, this whole field, this 2.2 acres, is pretty much just a food desert for wildlife. It was full of invasive species, and so there wasn't really anything for native bees, butterflies, and birds to eat. By removing all those invasive species, especially the autumn olive, we were able to um, replace it with those native plants so that the bees and butterflies and um, birds and bats and all the wildlife that would benefit from it could actually use this space instead of it just being being rather empty. So we had the common milkweed and the butterfly milkweed popped up first this year. Black-eyed Susans popping up as some of the native species. Now um, this is going to take a few years to come up so there's other seeds in the seed bank now that might take a year or two. Um, and we're also still battling the invasive species that wanted to come up first. As soon as we cleared the autumn olive it created a lot of sunshine and uh, we actually found that a lot of uh, a plant called black swallowwort popped up everywhere, um, trying to outcompete our native species. And so, but thanks to our friends with Lake St. Clair Sisma, they came out um, and volunteered their time and resources to spray that invasive. And so now that black swallowwort was killed and all of our native plants were able to pop up. And then even Pheasants Forever came and donated a chronolog photo documentation um, post. And so the public can come at any time, um, put their picture on the chronolog post and take a picture, submit it to chronolog and they'll create a time lapse video that allows us to keep track of the changes. And so um, we really hope the public will come out and help us monitor this exciting project. Awesome.